Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make an informed decision. And I'm excited about this episode. Because guys, what I want to do is give you a different perspective of how to look at your investments. And I promise you, if you bear with me and allow me to rant for just a few minutes, it will change not only your investment viewpoint, it'll probably change the way you see the world. Now, this is not investment advice. However, it is really, really good information that if you understand it, I promise you, you'll never look at the, uh, your investments the same way again. Now, let's get into it. Now, this happens to be about Ethereum, but it's really not about Ethereum as much as, as it is of how to look at a, a investment. Now, we're uh, going to look at Ethereum, and once you understand my viewpoint, honestly, I'll be surprised if you don't start stacking. Now, remember, not financial advice. Now, I'm going to give you a, a brief metaphor. And uh, bear with me because this sets the stage of how I want you to think. Now, you know, let's say we had three trucks. We had Ford, uh, Chevrolet, and Dodge. And basically, we're betting on which one is going to sell the most trucks, right? That's the bet. So we're going to put our money down. And whichever truck company sells the most trucks, you win, right? So Ford's a good solid truck with a good track record, right? A couple of bells and whistles. So is Chevrolet. But Dodge has the Hemi, and it has uh, the speed. It has the best colors. It's faster. It's got better gas mileage. And the price point is so good, you actually get four-wheel drive for the same price as you get the Ford and the Chevrolet. Now, everyone is betting on that, uh, that society is going to pick Dodge because Dodge is the best truck. So everyone places their bets. Well, I bet on Ford. Now, fast forward at the end of the year, Ford outsells Dodge 10 to 1 and outsells Chevrolet, who got the number two spot, 7 to 1. And everyone's shocked except me. Now, what is it that I understood about the bet that most people didn't? Because quite frankly, if the bet would have been which truck company had the best truck, I would have chose Dodge. It is a better truck, a lot better value. However, what I understood was that corporate America buys 10 million corporate trucks a year, every year. And they choose Ford. And that's why I won the bet. Now, check this out. So that happened, but half the people that chose the Dodge bet on Dodge again next year because they still can't believe that anyone would buy a Ford when for the same money or less money, you could buy that Dodge. And that is real life how it works in crypto, in real estate, in any investing. Guys, it doesn't matter necessarily which product or technology is the best. It matters what corporate America, Wall Street, the banks, and the governments think about it. And that's how I want you to 
think about your crypto investments. Stop measuring the speed and um, the the price because think about it guys ethereum loses both those categories as it sits however it is 10x bigger as far as its ecosystem than all the other layer ones now i'm going to walk you through uh why that is and hopefully it'll make sense to you but i really want you to not really think about ethereum but think about what i'm uh, trying to get you to understand so you can apply that in the future. Now, what's on the screen, it says, why are most dApps built on Ethereum? Well, when you read more, it basically says, despite the growth of all alternative blockchains networks, decentralized application dApps exist almost exclusively on Ethereum blockchain. Well, how is that? Well, when you dig into it, guys, see, we think of things from our perspective. Because, again, we think that Dodge truck is bigger, better, faster, and a better value. However, these guys are building. Think about how the developer thinks about it. Think about the corporation that is building on the ecosystem. And then think about how Wall Street is going to put their money into that ecosystem into that crypto right so if you're a developer you know that you're going to have to basically uh be involved with the uh emv the ethereum virtual machine so if you build outside side of that ecosystem that's just something else you're going to have to create it's already ready made for you on ethereum Yes, you're going to pay more gas fees once the project is set, you know, uh, takes off. However, you save money up front. You have a bigger, badder uh, developer community. And I'm not insulting any other developers or any other token. Um, you can monetize your results right out of the gate because of the ecosystem. You have customers waiting for your technology waiting for you to to launch right um, and then you have the diversity of the things you may need already at your disposal so see guys that is really important to the developers and to the corporations paying those developers to get things done they make it easier and they give you a ready made uh customers they give you support all that stuff now that's the simplified version now check this out could ethereum be the biggest metaverse crypto uh currency winner absolutely they will be well how how is it that i just made that statement it has nothing to do with ethereum being uh the best at whatever but it does have a lot to do with the fact that the top metaverse uh, projects were all built on ethereum so you've got sandbox ethereum right uh, you have um bear with me you've got mana built on ethereum right you have axie infinity Built on Ethereum. You have Egen Coin built on Ethereum. You got Shiba Inu built on Ethereum. See, guys, you're paying gas fees for all those top projects. They're top projects and they all want to set on Ethereum. Now, why Ethereum could be the big winner with Shiba Inu's metaverse? See, guys, I'm not shilling Ethereum, but the facts are the facts. When Shiba wins, Ethereum wins, right? When Axie Infinity wins, Ethereum wins, and so on and so forth. See, here's the deal. We know how big and massive Shiba's community is. Their metaverse, in my opinion, 
probably will do very well. And they are going to use the bone token, from my understanding, which is a whole different video, but that might be a place you want to take a look at uh, parking some of your high risk uh, money. But anyway, however, when they build that metaverse, you're going to have to pay gas fees. And if they sell land, you're going to pay in Ethereum. So uh, think about it, guys. That's why you want to follow the big money, follow the big projects, follow the developers, and follow Wall Street. Now, do you remember when the other side launched? You know, that's the, the Board 8 uh, Metaverse land. Guys, some of the, if that land wasn't so expensive, the gas fees would have cost more than the land. It was crazy. Like, I had a buddy who paid like $12,000 for uh, a couple of pieces of land. He paid 12000 each. He paid like $3,500 in gas fees. It's crazy. However, you know, uh, what is it? U Ugla, Yuga Labs. That's a major corporation on Wall Street, and they decided to build on top of Ethereum, so you got to pay the gas fees. So it's a win for Ethereum. Again, Axie Infinity, one of the biggest, you know, uh, it's going to have the, probably the biggest gaming and metaverse projects there. It's going to have, you know, a huge amount of land. You're going to pay in Ethereum. Now, this is really the type of stuff that everyone needs to really understand crypto punks you know crypto punks and board apes and i think there's a few more by far set the standard for you know what's possible in the nfts i mean crypto punks punks are ex immensely expensive they were the first ones and the board ape we all know how expensive they are but now check this out guys See, when CryptoPunks came along and they proved how successful they could be, basically, they inspired uh, the standard of the ERC-721 standard, which is the standard of all um, NFTs, I guess, to be minted, right? So no matter where the project sits or where it goes in the future, it's going to use the ERC-721 standard, which is Ethereum. And those are the type of things, guys, that you're fighting against when you think another project might be bit better. And it might be. That's not the bet, remember? Now, we know that Ethereum has a lot of issues, a lot of issues. It's not even close to being the best technology or the one that's ready to rock and roll, in my opinion. However, it gets all the help it needs, and the help is exploding to come running to its side every single day. Well, this is Polygon Studios. So not only does it help uh, Ethereum scale and save people on their gas fees, guys, Polygon Studios, which is a phenomenal uh, crypto to own, in my opinion, not financial advice. They are dominating every sector because a lot of people, in my opinion, the smarter people, they want to use Ethereum, but then when they look at it, they do understand that it might not be the best technology and that the fees are way too high. And it may not be the best thing for their customers, depending on what you're, you know, you're offering. But they can go to Polygon and they pay a fraction of the fees and they basically get the exact same setup. They get the security of Ethereum, uh, but they get the low gas fees. Polygon is a world beater and it sits on top of Ethereum. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to show you, and I just found this out, and, and this is what I'm talking about. You know, most layer ones are trying to do everything in the be all about, you know, and be the total package, and I get that, and quite frankly, that may be the future, 
in 10 years? I don't know, but I don't think so. But check out what this says. Starkware founders, Ethereum could surpass Visa's transaction speeds within months. So guys, this is basically a developer's uh, corporation. It's a company of developers. They see a problem and they go fix it. They don't even have a token. However, you're going to be able to use their blockchain technology that's going to sit on Ethereum and people are going to pay gas fees. So hopefully all this makes sense to you guys. I just want you to look at things from a different perspective. Look at it from the developers. Look at it from Wall Street. Uh, another thing about Wall Street, guys, they know that if they put $50 million into a project, that Wall Street's going to follow, right? If I if one corporation builds on Ethereum and or if one corporation puts fifty thousand fifty million dollars into buying the Ethereum token, well, they know there's five, ten, fifteen, twenty hedge funds going to do the same thing, and over time, they know that's going to stabilize the downside to whatever the investment is. And so, guys, every one of those entities are backing Ethereum. So that's how I want you to look at things, guys. So when you compare your favorite project, don't compare your uh, Dodge to Ford. Compare what matters. Ask yourself, is BlackRock going to invest? Is Microsoft going to step in? Now, I'm going to give you one last analogy and this is real world and this just happened and i'm gonna leave it with you you remember a couple of months back that coinbase got the allegations from the sec the stock was crashing and um i forget her uh, first name woods she sold like 250 million dollars worth of coinbase and it was falling like a rock. And quite frankly, guys, I was a little concerned because I have a lot of money sitting on Coinbase Exchange at the time. Now, guess what happened? BlackRock stepped in and bought it at the bottom. The stock rallied like 30, 40% in three days. Now, see, what, Kathy Woods, that's her name, ARK Investments. Now, Kathy bought that. And was going to hold it for you know 20 years but she sold out at the bottom and took a huge loss because kathy no offense she's not in the group she doesn't understand what i'm talking about what if she would have understood and knew that blackrock was going to step in and buy coinbase because they want to uh, own a piece of an exchange see that would have changed the way she uh got in and out of that market so anyway guys that's how i want you to think and now in my opinion those allegations uh that and the issues with secs uh with coinbase i could be wrong but guys i'm not worried why because the sec is not going to challenge blackrock they may uh, give a fine but they are not going to put enough heat on Coinbase to affect them and definitely not put them out of business. It's a game changer. BlackRock wants to invest in Coinbase. Coinbase gets a pass, right? JP Morgan wants to invest in Ethereum. Ethereum gets a pass, right? Uh, another example is if you look at Circle, guys, BlackRock. Hugely invested. Wall Street is stepping in to circle. And my uh, my thoughts are that circle is going to be the chosen stable coin. I could be wrong. And I wouldn't be surprised if BlackRock is not the uh, entity behind it that is guaranteeing the stability of it. But anyway, that's a whole different uh, topic. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. Did I change the way you look at projects? Did I change the way you see Ethereum? 
Uh, I'm really kind of curious of what you guys think. Uh, I know a lot of guys uh, haven't looked at uh, investments the way I'm trying to get you to, but it does matter, guys. It's not about which truck is the best truck. It's about which truck is going to sell the most and which one can we make the most money. And the guys that lost out on picking the wrong truck the first year and they pick it the second year, well, guys, they put their ego in front of their money. I'm not that guy. I put my money way in front of my ego because I don't care, quite frankly, which project wins. I just want to own that project. That's my goal, and that's my goal for you. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Hopefully, you get enough out of this to subscribe. If you do, mash that notification. Either way, hit the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And we really want to know what you think in the comments section. That's all I got, guys. Come back, be part of this community. Take care.